All right, everyone, so the digital SAT scores have just been released. So now you're probably wondering, what the heck do I do now? Well, first off, if you didn't receive your scores, you need to know that SAT scores are released for everybody in two batches, right? So your score either comes out between 6 and 8 a.m. EST or 6 and 8 p.m. EST. Now, there are a couple scores in between that are released, but these are the two main batches. So definitely look out for those times when you could receive your score back. Now, if you don't receive your score, today then that probably means you had technical difficulties with the testing center and all that that'll get sorted out within a couple of weeks but if you do not get your score back make sure you email college board now first off how accurate was my prediction calculator all right so what you're going to do is i have a video up uh basically it is a prediction video where you can predict your sat score by plugging in your practice test scores as well as how many questions you think you got wrong and it'll give you a predicted sat score so it's great to use right before your sat score comes out but if you did just get your sat score back what you can do is use that calculator see how close these scores are and really help us make the calculator more accurate for future students all right number two now it's time to evaluate your situation and your goals did you reach your target score, right? Is this the score that you wanted, right? Because that could determine whether you retake it or not. Is this SAT score a concern for college, right? Especially if you're already applying to college, then it might not be worth it to study for the SAT again if you're already having the workload of applying to college. Now, if you do end up sending the SAT score there, make sure it adds to your application, right? So if it's well below the average of that school, then it's probably not a good idea to, to put your SAT score as a part of your application because it's not going to add to it right it's only going to take away now if you're a junior then you've got time to relax if you're a senior working on college apps then don't stress too much because there are still test optional policies that are really widespread now you're probably wondering how to improve well these two videos have everything you need right the math section has tons of practice problems if you can do those you're set the english video is also has tons of practice questions but also has concept reviews a full grammar guide and a bunch of practice question so that's three hours of content if you spread it over two weeks that's 10 minutes a day you could do 10 minutes a day guys so definitely worth the time there now let's see what you score so if you score under a 1200 it's easy to get points from here you need to use khan academy as well as just tackle those foundational gaps you might have using the test insights from your practice tests as well as the actual sat if you score between 1200 and 1290 focus on learning the grammar rules the right right the easiest ones to improve to the medium questions in the SAT question bank, aim for 80% mastery on the Digital SAT Khan Academy course. If you score 13 to 1390, tackle the hard questions in the question bank, find the online community. I don't care if it's a friend group, right, like a group chat, or if it's a subreddit or a Discord, anything just to find like-minded people to help you improve. 1400 to 1490, you want to employ techniques now, right? So it's a lot more about mindset. I have a top 10 best hacks to improve your SAT score by over 100 points. Make sure you check that out because I go over the mute lawyer technique, which is such a good exploit for the SAT reading section. So make sure you check that out. Focus on the hardest 10% of questions because that's probably where you're losing points right now. And always experiment with different pacing strategies and techniques to help you get over that 1500 bump. Now, if you score 1500 to 1540, just simple tune-ups here. This is really small margins, right? You're missing just a couple questions. So just work on having a good mindset. And that's really similar for 1515, 15, a 1550 plus, right? And honestly, if you score anything above a 1550 or even a 1500, just relax. It's not worth your time to pour all those hours in to get a couple 10, 20, 30 points. You're better off spending your time on the other parts of your college application, focusing on your classes or doing extracurriculars. So that does it for the video, guys. Make sure you comment down below what you got on the digital SAT. And I'll see you guys in the next video.